Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you know the deal, man. We must continue to put some respect on Michael Jordan, the 80s and the 90s, guys. You know, especially the 90s, man. Michael Jordan's era because they're always trying to tear these guys down, man. And in this video, we're going to talk about the 90s, man, and how these guys, right, the stars, the great players of the 90s, they stayed on their teams, guys, right? I've told you guys many times on this channel, right, about when you turn the TV on, right, you knew these guys were going to be there, and you could associate certain players with certain teams because they were on these teams, right? That was the 90s, guys. That's what we're going to talk about in this video because when we compare it to a lot of the guys of this era, it's not the same. These guys have bounced around. They've switched teams, right, in their physical primes, essentially. Don't you know talk about in this video, guys. And I want to thank you guys, man. Everyone across the world, everyone across the states, man. Shout out to everybody out there, for real. I am truly humbled by the support, guys. You guys have been really supporting my channel, man. My channel's nothing without the support by the true basketball fans. You guys out there, real recognize real, man. You guys know the deal, man. I'm not lying here. This channel's not about narratives. It's not about hailing this channel. This is about the facts, guys. This is about setting the record straight, man. It's about the education. And that's what we're doing right now, man. So much respect to all you guys. Thank you very much. I am truly, truly humble, man, for real. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I always tell you on this channel, man, back in the day when I was growing up, like I said, you could turn on the TV and, you know, if the Chicago Bulls were playing the New York Knicks, then you knew that Michael Jordan was going to be there. You knew that Patrick Ewing was going to be there. That's what it was going to be, right? And I've also told you guys on this channel, back in the 90s, when I was growing up, you could associate certain teams with certain players. You knew certain players with certain teams. You just, when you think of a player, you automatically think of a certain team that that player played on, right? Because they played on these teams basically, essentially, their entire careers. They were known for being on that team as being the star of that team. That's the 90s had, guys. And we're going to talk about real briefly. I wrote down a lot of uh, names. Like I said, all the time in my head, guys, I wrote these names down in comparison to the stars of this past era. Right, the 2010s, we're going to talk about in the comparison. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about here, man. Once again, these are the facts here, guys. So when we think about some of the players I was growing up watching, man, and even before then, when we associate some of these all-time great players, like back in the day, right, we associate with the great players with what? With a team. They stayed on a certain team, right? When you think about Bill Russell, you think about the Celtics, right? Jerry West, you think about the Lakers, right? Willis Reed, you think about the New York Knicks, right? Some of these players from back in the days, you would associate with a certain team, Right? That's the way it was, right? You know, we think about some of the players from the 80s and stuff like that, right? You think about Magic Johnson, right? You associate Magic Johnson with what? The Lakers, right? He played on the Lakers in time career. Larry Bird, you associate him with the Celtics. Dr. J, you associate with the Sixers, right? This is what you associate these guys with, right? George Gervin, you associate with the San Antonio Spurs. So when we think about the 90s, guys, the same thing relates in the 90s. The same thing was going on. You had certain players associated with certain teams because these players were on these teams 12, 13, 14, 15 seasons, right? They played on these teams a long time or essentially their entire careers. We think about the obvious ones, right? Michael Jordan playing on the Chicago Bulls his entire career in the 90s, right? Playing all those years on the Chicago Bulls. That was Michael Jordan. You associated Michael Jordan with the Chicago Bulls, right? Carl Malone, right? And John Stockton. You think about them together, but you associate them with what? The Utah Jazz. They play in the Utah Jazz essentially their entire careers, right? John Stockton, his entire career. And Carl Malone played essentially his entire career, right? And not the last season playing on the Los Angeles Lakers when he was 40 years old. 40 years old. So he essentially played the entire career on the Utah Jazz. You associate Carl Malone with the Utah Jazz, right? A Hakeem Olajuwon. You associate a Hakeem Olajuwon with the Houston Rockets, right? Playing the Houston Rockets his entire career. You associate, associate Hakeem Olajuwon and the, and the Houston Rockets. They go hand in hand. Yeah, he played that one year in Toronto when he was, what, 40 years old, 39 years old? Whatever the case may be. <clears throat> uh, Dominic Wilkins. You associate Dominic Wilkins with what? The Atlanta Hawks. When I was growing up, you associate Dominic Wilkins with the Atlanta Hawks. Playing the Atlanta Hawks for like, what, 11, 12 seasons, straight seasons? before he bounced around a couple teams late in his career. But he was on the Atlanta Hawks his entire career. I believe he's 35 or 36 years old when he ends up leaving the Hawks. Right? You associated Dominic Wilkins with the Hawks. Reggie Miller. Right? You associated Reggie Miller with what? The Indiana Pacers. Playing the Pacers his entire career. Reggie Miller. Right? 
These are the things I'm talking about. All these teams you associate with a certain player. These players were on these teams for years, their entire careers, essentially. We think about Patrick Ewing, guys. Patrick Ewing playing on the Knicks his entire career, essentially for what? Except the last two years when he was, what, I believe uh, 38, 39 years old when Patrick Ewing wasn't, didn't play on the New York Knicks. But he plays his entire career, guys, on the New York Knicks. Patrick Ewing, you associate with the New York Knicks. Uh, Clyde Drexler, we think about Clyde Drexler. Plays his entire career, essentially, with the Portland Trailblazers. Yes, he played about, I think, three or four seasons with the Houston Rockets when he had that trade in the 1995 season. Right, joining them, I believe when he was about 33 years old, I want to say uh, Clyde Drexler was, uh, when he went to the Houston Rockets. But he played 12 seasons on the Portland Trailblazers, guys. 12 seasons, well into his 30s, on the Portland Trailblazers. You associated Clyde Drexler with the Portland Trailblazers in the 1990s, man. That was Clyde Drexler, Portland Trailblazers. Chris Mullen, you think about Chris Mullen in the 1990s, right? A forgotten player from the 1990s. Chris Mullen, you associated with what? The Golden State Warriors. You associated Chris Mullen with the Warriors. Yes, he did go to the Indiana Pacers, I believe, when he was 33 years old. He went to the Indiana Pacers, right? But you associate Chris Mullen with what? The Golden State Warriors. He was on there since his entire career, like I said, until he was in his uh, late, uh, mid to, uh, to late 30s, going to the Indiana Pacers. David Robinson, you associate with the San Antonio Spurs. David Robinson playing for the San Antonio Spurs his entire career, man. Once again, another player that played, what, 14, 15 seasons for one team. We think about David Robinson, you think about the Spurs. You always associate the Spurs and David Robinson in the 90s, guys. Right Before Tim Duncan became, came there, it was David Robinson that you always associated the Spurs with. You saw Spurs, you thought David Robinson, guys. That's the 90s, man. Who else did I write down here? Isaiah Thomas, once again. Isaiah Thomas, another player like a Larry Bird and Matt Johnson. Isaiah Thomas, Detroit Pistons. You think the Detroit Pistons when you think about Isaiah Thomas. No other teams. It's the Detroit Pistons you think about when you think about Isaiah Thomas. Gary Payton. Think about Gary Payton. And you think about the Seattle Supersonics of the 90s. This is what you associate with Gary Payne. Yes, he did go to a couple of teams late in his career in the 2000s, right? He played for the, the Miami Heat, I believe. Um, and I believe he played for the Lakers in 2004, I want to say, when he came to that team, when Carl Malone got there. That's the 2000s. We're talking about the 1990s, man. Gary Payne was on the Supersonics until I believe he was 35, 36 years old. So once again, when he's in his mid-30s, late in his career. But he played, what, 12 seasons for the Supersonics. You associate Gary Payne with the Sonics. That's the 90s, y'all. So you see all these guys I've mentioned, man. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 16 guys I've mentioned here, man. All these players are guys who played in the 90s that you associated with their team, right? A name association. I say a name or I say a team, you think of that player. That's the 90s. This is what I'm always alluding to you guys about, players staying on their teams. The guys who went off their teams, like I said, I called Malone when he was 40, you know what I'm saying? Maybe trying to get a ring. We all know that, right? In the 2004 Lakers. He was 40 years old, Carl Malone, at that point, man. It's not Carl Malone when he was physically in his prime, at, the, at his peak, trying to get rings and, and bouncing around. No. Once again, Hakeem Olajuwon was 39 years old when he went to the Toronto Raptors. It wasn't ring chasing. He went to the Raptors, man, his last year, right? Same thing. Uh, Patrick Ewing, I believe he went to the Orlando Magic when he was 38 years old. 38 years old, guys, right? 38. I want you to remember these names, these ages I'm talking about. Uh, Dominic Wilkins, 35. Gary Payton, 35 when he finally left their teams. After all those years of being on those teams, guys. 12, 11, 12, 13 uh, seasons. Some of these guys. Even more. Now, when we contrast this, guys, once again, I wrote these other names down for guys of the 2010s era. The era that we start to see a lot of what? Super team forming. Guys bouncing around. Not being true competitors. Right? Just going all over the place, guys, right? Doing what they want to do, doing their free agency moves, right? Just like I said, taking advantage and abusing what Michael Jordan, the guys in the 90s, laid out, right? The guys in the 2000s, they didn't abuse it like this. And by the time we got to the 2010s, these guys that came in the mid-2000s, you'll see what I'm, what I'm pointing out here, guys. They completely abused it. It went off the rails, and these guys completely lost themselves, bouncing around from team to team. So you don't really associate a lot of these guys or teams with these players. You don't. So let's think about this now. Let's think about Russell Westbrook for a second here. Now, a lot of people will associate Russell Westbrook with the Oklahoma State Thunder, and rightfully so. But when we think about Russell Westbrook over his career now, what can we say? That this man's been bouncing around now from team to team, and it's not like Russell Westbrook is 38, 39 years old, and he's bouncing around trying to get a ring. No, Russell Westbrook has been bouncing around since he's 30 years old when he left OKC for the Houston Rockets, right? Then after the Houston Rockets, he went where? He went to what, the Washington Wizards? Then he was on the Lakers. Now he's on the Clippers. 
So once again, you can't really associate Russell Westbrook with the team, so to speak. OKC was a long time ago. That was a lot of teams ago, so to speak, right? So these are the kinds of things that we must remember. And Russell Westbrook, once again, was 30 years old when he left OKC. Not saying that he shouldn't have left any of these things. We're just highlighting with these guys and their mindsets and how they'll bounce around more than the guys in the past eras did in their peaks or their prime still. LeBron James, right? We don't have to talk about LeBron James much, but we'll mention him because he's part of the problem in this, right? LeBron James leaving in his, in his prime to go to Miami, going back to Cleveland. Now he's in L.A. This is just bouncing around his finest. What do you associate with LeBron James? The Cleveland Cavaliers, do you associate LeBron James with Cleveland or Miami? A lot of people tell you that LeBron James' best years were in Miami. But a lot of people will tell you that he's the greatest Cleveland Cavalier in, in NBA history. He's not the greatest Miami Heat or the greatest Laker. So what do you associate with LeBron James? You see what I'm saying, guys? Bouncing around. <clears throat> uh, Paul George. You're thinking about a Paul George now. Similar scenario here, right? Bouncing around. You used to think about Paul George and the Indiana Pacers. But then all of a sudden, Paul George goes to the Oklahoma City Thunder to play with Russell Westbrook, right? So he joined these guys when he was like, what, 28, 29 years old, whatever it was. Then he bounces back now on the L.A. Clippers with the Kawhi Leonard with the Russell Westbrook once again. So now, Paul George, what team do you associate him with? Right? I don't know. Let's think about Kawhi Leonard now, for example. And I just mentioned all these guys. They've all played together now. You see what's going on? This is what I'm highlighting, guys. This is where they get exposed. Paul George, Kawhi Leonard going to the Clippers together. Do you consider Kawhi Leonard a San Antonio Spur? He won a Finals MVP there, a championship there. Was he the best player there? No, he probably won in a team scenario, but he won a Finals MVP. Or do you consider him a Toronto Raptor? He only played one season, but won a championship there. Do you consider him an L.A. Clipper? So once again, what team do you associate with Kawhi Leonard? He doesn't have a home. He doesn't have a team, so to speak. This is the era that we're talking about. These guys bounce around. They play with each other, not against each other. Let's think about Kevin Durant, one of the great front runners of this era. Kevin Durant, once again, what do you associate with Kevin Durant? Oklahoma City? But he won two titles and two finals MVPs on the Golden State Warriors. People argue those were his best seasons. But he won MVP in Golden State. I mean, in OKC. He played, what, seven, eight years in Oklahoma City? Then he goes to Brooklyn for a couple of years. Now he's in Phoenix now. So you see, once again, the bouncing all over the place when they're in their primes. Kevin Durant was what? 30 years old when he went to the Golden State Warriors? I don't know how old he was. I know he wasn't 38, 39, 40 years old, like Carl Malone, right? He was ring chasing in his prime. See, guys didn't do this back in the 90s. They didn't ring chase in their primes. This is what these guys are doing now. How about Chris Paul? How many teams has Chris Paul been on? A lot of people don't mention Chris Paul. He kind of flies under the radar. But he's one of the players of that era, the LeBron James era, that's bounced all over the place in his prime, right? Was on the New Orleans Hornets. Then he goes to the Clippers. Then he goes to what? The Rockets. Now he's in, then he was in Phoenix. Now he's in Golden State. I mean, my goodness. How many different players has Chris Paul played with? Bounce all over. What, what team do you associate with Chris Paul? New Orleans? The Clippers? Houston? When was his best seasons? I would probably argue New Orleans was his best years. But that was a long time ago, man. Do you associate him with New Orleans? This is what I'm saying. These guys don't have a home. They don't have no home. James Harden. James Harden. Once again, I've mentioned already, bouncing all over the place. How many teams has James Harden been on now? Right? OKC. Then he wanted the money, right? He wanted to be the main guy. Okay, he goes to Houston. Then he's on Houston for, what, seven, eight years? Then he leaves Houston and goes to, what, the Brooklyn Nets? Then he's on the Philadelphia Sixers. Then he's on, now he's on, what, the L.A. Clippers? I mean, the man's all over the place. In his prime. These guys are 28, 9, 29, 30 years old. Moving to all these teams. Playing with each other. Right? James Harden played with Russell Westbrook. He's playing with Kawhi Leonard, Paul George now. Right, he played with Chris Paul. I mean, my goodness. He played with Kevin Durant. How about uh, uh, Dwight Howard? Another guy, Dwight Howard. Bounced around, Dwight Howard. Left Orlando after about, what, eight seasons? Right? Left, the, left Orlando Magic after eight seasons when he was like, what, 28, 9 years old, 29 years old, whatever it was. Went and joined Kobe. That didn't work because he couldn't deal with Kobe because he was scared of Kobe. He couldn't deal with it. So he left the L.A., then he went to, what, the Houston Rockets, I believe, and then he was all over the place, man, in Washington, Atlanta. Then he went to the Lakers, then he left, and then went back to Philadelphia, then he went back to the Lakers. This is Dwight Howard, guys. 
What team do you associate him with? The Orlando Magic probably, right? That was a long time ago. He didn't win a championship with the Orlando Magic, but he won one with the Lakers. Do you consider him a Laker? Do you consider him a uh, Houston Rocket? No, you consider him an Orlando Magic, right? It was a long time ago. Like I said, these guys bounce around. They don't have homes. Eight seasons. None of these guys have played more than 10 seasons, more than eight seasons in these on these teams, man. It's a joke. It's laughable, guys. In their primes, they're leaving. They're not leaving like some of the other guys like I mentioned at 35, 37, 38, 39, 40 years old. These guys will leave when they're 28, 29, 30 years old, going to other teams, joining these guys. How about Carmelo Anthony? Right? Played for Denver. Then he went to the Knicks. I traded to the Knicks. Right? And then he bounced around to a couple teams late in his career. Right? OKC. Right? The Lakers. The Portland Trail Blazers. Right? Once again, another player bouncing around. So, guys, as you can see here, clearly I've indicated, we think about uh, these players I've mentioned here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine different players I mentioned from the 2010s, guys. And I want you to think about something here. All these guys I mentioned from the 90s, guys, and the 80s, some of these guys, when I mentioned what? Like 16 guys that was, 15 guys, whatever it was. I mentioned more. None of these guys played together in their primes. None of them. None of them did. When you talk about Drexler joining Olajuwon in 1995, Drexler had a knee surgery. He was 35 years old or, 30, or 33 years old. He wasn't in his prime anymore. He was older. He had already played on the for 12 seasons already. Right? We think about Chris Mullen joining Re uh, Reggie Miller in the 1990, I think 1998 season, I think it was. He went to the Indiana Pacers. He, I believe he played four seasons on the Pacers. Chris Mullen was 33 years old. He had already played on the Golden State Warriors for, I believe, 11 seasons. All these other guys I mentioned, look about They They all played together, guys, in their primes. Westbrook obviously played with Durant, right? He obviously played with James Harden, right? On multiple occasions, he played with James Harden in OKC and in Houston. LeBron James played with Westbrook. He played with, uh, who else? Dwight Howard on this list I mentioned. And he played with Carmelo Anthony. We think about Kawhi Leonard. He's played with Paul George and vice versa. Uh, Kawhi Leonard's playing with Russell Westbrook. Paul George is playing with Russell Westbrook right now. They're all playing with James Harden right now. You see what I'm saying, guys? All these guys are playing together. Chris Paul, James Harden played together. Chris Paul and Kevin Durant played together. Kevin Durant played with Steph Curry. Kevin Durant played with all these guys too, man. You see what I'm saying? Like, this whole list I read out to you, right? Dwight Howard playing with LeBron James. Dwight Howard playing with... Uh, with James Harden. Like, this is what I'm talking about. These guys don't stay on their team. They bounce around when they're still in their primes. 28, 29, 30 years old. They might have played for a team eight, maybe seven, eight seasons. And then they leave. But they join another player. When we think about someone like a, uh, a Charles Barkley, for example, right? I didn't mention him from the 90s because he's probably the one guy that you can talk about maybe bounced around a couple. But when we think about Charles Barkley going to the Phoenix Suns, he joined the team that didn't have a superstar. There was no superstar there. Kevin Johnson was a star, but he wasn't one of the great players, like the top 10 player in the league. So when he went there, he wasn't joining another top player. These guys are joining the other top 10 players of their eras. They're playing with each other. And this is what we're alluding to. The LeBron James joining the Dwayne Wade, who was a top 10 player. There was no one on the Phoenix Suns that was a top 10 player when Charles Barkley went there. Right? This is what we must think about. So none of these guys... They stayed on their teams. They all played multiple seasons. Deep. Deep. This the 90s, y'all. This is what I'm talking about, man. These guys, this, this era, they bounce around. Hopefully it'll change, right? Because you had guys that have st stuck around, stayed on their team. You know, the Dirk Nowitzkis, the Kobe Bryant, the Tim Duncans, right? We know about the all-time greats that played on one team. This is what I'm talking about. I was just high in the 90s there. And you guys can see the difference between the 90s players and the 2010s players. Right, the way that they've carried themselves, the way they all have played with each other, how they all have left their teams after seven, eight seasons, whereas the other guys played 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 seasons on their teams. They didn't leave in ring chase until what? They were 38, 39, 40 years old, maybe 35. That was when guys ring chased. Later in their careers, after they were on their team 12, 11 seasons already, right, in their mid-30s, now guys are ring chasing when they're 28, which makes no sense because... Their careers last longer now, so they're able to play further and later into their careers, into their 30s. So why not be ring chasing later in your careers? Not earlier in your careers. It doesn't make any sense. 
right? These guys will play on a team for eight or nine years, leave, go, and play for another 10 seasons and been bouncing around all these years. And this is, like I said, where you see and they get exposed as not really having a home, not really being able to associate them with a team, right? This is what we're talking about, guys. You know the deal, man. That was the 90s, y'all. I'll catch you guys on the next one.